husband, my son, my mother-in-law, uh, my sisters, and my cast cell member. Look at that. Looks like uh, the election's over. <laughs> Alright. In year 205, uh, I had no peace due to certain troubles in my life. I called my neighbor Priscilla, who was a Christian, and asked if she could bring me to the church service. During the service in Trinity, I felt comforted by the peace of God. But I didn't receive Christ and my Lord and Savior in that service. Subsequently, I attended cell and in year 206, my cell member led me to pray the sinner's prayer and I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. Due to my previous full-time job, I was unable to spend much time with my children and family and my husband. However, God showed me that spending time with my family to build and strengthen our relationship was far more important than my job. At that point in time, even though I was hesitant, I put my trust and faith in Him and quit my job. Shortly after, God blessed me with a part-time job. Not only supplemented my income, but also allowed me to spend quality time with my family. As a result, uh, my relationship became stronger. So to God be the glory. Today, much of my own nomination, much of my own general election. Two miracles happened today. First, I'm number 27, the last. I get to speak as long as I like. No, <laughs> First miracle is me standing here. I'm a very stubborn nut. It's very hard to get me to come to church even. But I'm standing here. And when I went to my first cell meeting, I actually went for the during party and disappeared for two years, I think, about a year. <laughs> Second miracle, I'd like to thank all my friends and family who are here today. People who are not believers, but they are here for me. How I came to know God. I'm the last in my immediate family to give my life to God. I'm, I have three brothers, I'm the youngest. And my parents were baptized in their 70s a few years ago, they are here. <laughs> At eight, my newly converted brother.